A very good morning to you. This is why in the morning. Hello, Monday. My name is Ron Maguko. Hoping that you're well this particular morning. If at all you're just joining us, uh, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And today it's all about understanding youth and national values. We started this conversation a bit earlier on, a long time ago, and now we want to continue with it. How can as youths, how can we promote national values? We shall be looking at the 17 national values. Uh, we already started on the 17 we did a few, uh, a few of them uh, we are going to finish up with the rest we did eight national values we are going to finish with the rest of the 17 and joining me to understand more about how youth can be able to promote uh, national values on youth and national values i'm joined by ambrose biketti he is the assistant director at the director of national cohesion and values which falls under the ministry of interior and coordination of national government thank you so much Okosalama. Salama Kapsa. Yeah. Uh, How is your morning? I'm doing well. You're doing well. Mm -hmm. um, so if at all you're, you, you, you know from wherever you are, ensure that you engage with us. We are live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. So engage with us on our social media handles also at Y254, at Ram Maguko, and at uh, Sankara Kayesu. The hashtag is Y in the morning. This is a conversation that involves you. So ensure that you engage with us and ask your questions to our one assistant director here and we shall be sure to answer them even as you continue so um wanna be uh we touched on the 17 national we we started on uh, talking on the uh, national uh 17 national values that exist and i want us to just pick pick it up from where we left off with the other conversation and uh, we want to talk of uh, um a bit on the social justice yes. that exists as an enshrined in the constitution mm. uh, so when is, when we say the word social justice just by definition because the youths who are hearing such terminology and on ashanga what the hell what are we talking about social justice what is that we're talking about when we say social justice and how can we promote it uh thank you ram for having me this morning when we talk about social justice, we are just referring to the enjoyment of rights. Any, any, any activity, any process that facilitates the enjoyment of rights of the Kenyan people mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and uh, enhancing their well-being in the society as they interact with each other. Yeah. That is about social justice. Mm -hmm. So any, any, any activity that you engage in that is going to ensure our people enjoy their rights, mm -hmm. our people enjoy living as 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 they take care of each other in the yeah. society yeah that's where social justice is all about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, how how people enjoy does does that also um because because i know rights and freedoms at some point they're limited yes how i enjoy it may at some point offend my neighbor because i may do something enjoying myself but my neighbor is actually getting hurt mm -hmm. how, what are the limitations that we have here uh, there are limitations. Every right has a responsibility. Yeah. There is there's nothing that you can enjoy without some limitations. But we'll be talking about that when we yeah. talk about human rights. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. on this one, social justice, we are uh -huh. talking about uh, especially touching on the youth. Any, any activity that you engage in yeah. that is supposed to help our communities, the people we live in, begin to enjoy some, 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 some rights, and uh, any activity that tries to meet their needs, that addresses their challenges in the society, mm -hmm. that activity falls under social justice. Mm -hmm. like, like, for example, when you have, you have a, a, a social action project, you mm -hmm. have identified a need in the community, and you, you look for a way of addressing that need. Like, mm -hmm. I have seen youth, for example, going out to clean up some drainage that yeah, is blocked, yeah, yeah, just yeah. helping the community to start. Like community service. Yeah, community service. <laughs> At the end of the day, those people, when it is done well, yeah. they now appreciate living in a clean environment. Mm -hmm. Initially, they were suffering. That was a need. Mm -hmm. That was a challenge. Yeah. But now the youth have come in to do something for them. At the end of the day, they begin enjoying their rights living in that environment mm -hmm. that is where social justice is all about and I'm, I'm seeing also many activities that youth engage in um campaigns yes uh they can decide to go for an uh, activation mm -hmm. of some sort mm -hmm. they get some groups and then they start dancing together mm -hmm. as youths yes. um does that also fall part of uh, social justice also it, it can it can and uh, and uh, just on the same line uh. you ha we have seen even some projects initiated 
yeah. that are the projects that are speaking to the needs of that community. Like, for example, a water point where they are trying to ensure that the community accesses the water. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it makes the community feel they are part and parcel of the wider society. So what should us as youths um, do to ensure that uh, within our area, mm -hmm. within our vicinity, we are promoting social justice? First of all, identify the challenges that the community is actually uh, experiencing, the needs of that community. And ask yourself as a youth, mm. is there anything I can do to help these, these people address wow. this mm -hmm. very challenge? Mm -hmm. You realize that our, our people are going through various challenges. But in your small way as a youth in that locality, if you go in and begin, I have seen youth, for example, in, in the process of addressing a need of the community, mm -hmm. it becomes an income generating thing for them. Yeah, but they yeah, began yeah, as yeah. a way of addressing the need of this Get community. Get a problem and yes. try to find out what the solution, the solution. The problem is. Then it opens up for you to start at least earning something at the end of the day. But, 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 but there are many who may talk of leadership. They say, uh, Kiongozi, we need our MP to do this, our senator to do this, our MCA to do this. Does, um, you know, uh, and, and we forget because you're saying as you, we have the ability yes. to go to the ground and get solution to these problems. Yes. We don't need to depend on our leaders to do so. No. That is a defeatist way of looking at things. You remember when you were talking about patriotism, the first yeah. value? Yes. We said when you love your country, you will give your best. You will come in with a solution to a particular problem. You may not wait for other people to come in. But mm. that small thing that you can do just to address the needs of that community is where social justice comes in. So mm -hmm. it, it, it comes, it flows from patriotism. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can do to enhance the well-being of these people that you're working with? That is social justice. And, and, and that's why it's, we, we, we are encouraging everybody. If there's a problem in, a, in your society yes. where you stay, try solve it don't wait for our leaders to see do what you can do uh -huh. see what you can do there is something that you can do at that level then the rest of the things can be handled by other people uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. like just uh, uh, an environment which is having a lot of litter around you can just wake up mobilize youth and just pick the litter and burn that is something you, that is within your, 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 your means. You can do that. You yeah, don't need yeah. to wait for a leader. Mm -hmm. And the people are suffering because of the, the littered environment. But no, there are some challenges that we are facing when it comes to promoting this particular aspect. Yes. Value uh -huh. of social justice. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you can mention some of them that we are experiencing as a, as a director that you've seen uh, that is a hindrance to social justice. Uh, especially one of the challenges is poverty. You go to an environment, there is a need, and people want to do something, but you look at their level of, 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 wow, of, of wow. life. There is nothing that is there. There is nothing that they can do. They are limited by the level of, of poverty. So it requires another person to come in and at least do something. Mm -hmm. And so that, that is a challenge. And, Sponsors, and, uh, uh, funds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like what you are saying, the are, they are youth who come there, they look at these people like they have already given up. So, and yeah. we want to see them also enjoy their life. You organize mm -hmm. some fun for these people. That's why you're talking about some dancing and some kind of entertainment. Mm -hmm. You bring, you breathe life now to those people. Mm -hmm. That's what we are talking about. Let, let's talk about equity. Mm -hmm. uh, when you, you, you're saying that you, you go somewhere mm -hmm. and then you bring life, mm -hmm. you try to uplift some of these people, you know, there has to be some sense of equity when we, uh, as you're doing that. Mm -hmm. There has to be some sense of 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 of, of involvement that uh, I feel that there is equity here. Mm -hmm. So if there is equity, I will feel at peace to participate in promoting whatever is going on. But now, how can we ensure that there is equity? Equity is in terms of the needs of those people. <laughs> when, for example, these people, their needs are many, it means you're going to mobilize several groups. Yeah. Like, like a, a challenge in a place or a need in an area, you will realize that one, one group may not handle that. So mm -hmm. it will involve you mobilizing various groups because mm -hmm. the challenge is big. You cannot handle it as alone. You may not have the capacity. So if you are a youth group in that environment, mm. you may go out to get some more groups to join in because mm. of the market, the, 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 the magnitude, the level of the challenge you want to deal with. That's yeah. where equity comes in. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you handle it in a small way, mm -hmm. you may not be able to finish the work at the end of the day. Okay, that okay. is why every need, you assess, you analyze every need, you look at the capacity that you have. Do you have the capacity? Or you need to bring on board other members, other youth. I, if we have women groups in the neighborhood, they are all coming together for the sake of addressing the challenge. Mm -hmm. That is where equity comes in. Yeah, mm. where everybody is involved. Everybody is involved. And uh, we have some standard scenarios that are pro prohibiting such kind of uh, a, a, a value. Yes. Um, what are they, to, just to mention but a few? Uh, we have like, uh, when you want to go to a place and you have like a home for the elderly, mm. you are a youth group. Mm -hmm. There is a, something you want to do in that home. You may not go there as a youth group because you may not speak to the needs of those people. Mm -hmm. You may need the support of other groups. Other groups. The women to in stand the society. In. Yes. The, the, now, you are the one leading the way, yeah. but you are being supported by these other groups to ensure you offer a service that will actually address the needs of those people. So that, that mobilization comes in depending on the category or on the need or on the group they are going to deal with. So someone should not say that Mimi as a small market. No, no, no. That is where we, are, we, are, we only be talking about inclusiveness. You discover mm. that we have to find a way of bringing every other person on board. There is something that you can do which I cannot do. Mm -hmm. And if we appreciate that your strength, what you have, and my strength, when we put together the two, we will be able to achieve so much. So and that's where inclusivity comes in. Mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. So it's possible for youths to uh, promote equity. Very possible. And um, you know, there is always this perspective of segregation mm -hmm. that uh, exists in uh, some individuals. They feel like, you know what, um, I, I don't think I can get uh, so and so to come in. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get so and so to come. You know, they've already given up. Yes. Yeah. So they, they, they won't promote equity. Um, how, how, what would you say uh, in, in regards to that particular scenario here? First of all, you have to work on your service team. Mm. Realize that as a Kenyan, as a youth, you have the rights that you need to enjoy. And with that kind of awareness, and you work on your self-esteem and you improve it, mm. you can be able to go to any person mm. because of what you want to do. You may look small, but there is something, some contribution you want to make to the wider society. Mm. So people will listen to you. Not by what you, where you come from, but what you want to achieve for the society. And they will come in. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who are just waiting for somebody to tell them, please come on board. Mm -hmm. And they are willing to come on board. So you have to be willing to overcome that. That mm -hmm. kind of stigma that yeah, is in yeah. your mind, feeling mm -hmm. that you cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. You cannot mobilize people to do something good for the society. Yeah. The moment you step out, the first step that you make, it will even surprise you. Then, then how, how can youths promote inclusiveness? Because we want to be included. You, you, you hear how youths are coming up nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, they, if you look at the coming elections, mm -hmm. many are talking about inclusivity, mm -hmm. inclusiveness, mm -hmm. how they can be able to participate in leadership yes. and in taking the country to the next level. Good. How do we promote inclusiveness here? First of all, you have to understand the opportunities you have been given in mm -hmm. the existing law and make use of those opportunities. That's the first thing. Mm. Because if we are going to see the voice of the youth, because we have so many opportunities which have been set aside for the youth in parliament, in every, in every committee now, it's a constitutional matter. Yeah, yeah. So when you understand those positions which have been reserved for you, make use of those opportunities. That is number one. Mm. And go out, find out any group coming up, where is our slot? Any committee coming up, any commission coming up, where is our slot? Mm -hmm. Then you go and get that slot for yourself. Mm -hmm. Then number two again, any youth in a position anywhere, you, mm -hmm. ha you are in a particular commission, a particular committee, a particular institution, mm -hmm. you make sure you, the issues of the youth are well, are well outlined in what you are doing. If you are developing a policy, you know mm -hmm. you are representing the youth. At exactly. the end of the day, if mm -hmm. every youth in those small positions begin doing their work to represent the other youth, mm -hmm. we will not have a challenge moving forward. Because we, we, right now we have enough voices 
of youth in different organizations. Mm. Can you imagine if each one of them just begins to ensure that the issues of the youth are mainstreamed in that organization at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. We will not have a challenge. But youths keep on segregating themselves. They feel like, ah, Siwezi, I Even can't. some who have been given positions, when they go there, mm. instead of standing up and letting other people to hear them mm. as, as representatives of the youth, they, 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 they shy away. And so at the end of the day, the voices that we are hearing from there are not coming mm -hmm. from the youth who are seated in those committees. We are not taking advantage of opportunities yes. that have been laid out for us. Exactly, exactly. Because by now, the, uh, the Constitution 2010 gave us enough of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Some have done so well. But in other places where you go, you find a youth is there as a leader, but he's not, he or she is not making use of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. So the youth, at the end of the day, they must also learn to, to, to equip themselves, mm -hmm. then arise, mm -hmm. then make use of those opportunities, and ensure that the issues of the youth come forth at the end of the day. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, we, we've seen many youths say that they don't feel like they are getting involved mm -hmm. in uh, particular areas, uh, especially when it comes to leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say in regards to that? That is a feeling, and it may be true. Mm. But you see, you can't sit there and say we are not feeling engaged in this. Mm. You go there and... Then, let me give you an example. We organize for a forum we are trying to validate a budget mm. in a county yeah. forum. We invite the youth to come. Mm -hmm. The first question they will ask you is how much am I going to be given <laughs> at the end of the day? Wrong question. Wrong question. Because this is about policy which is going to affect most of the youth. We are trying to promote inclusivity but here, now, but you are coming up with something else. Selfish interests at the end of the day. And so unless we defeat that kind of attitude, we may not make use of those opportunities. <laughs> so if you are asked that question by yeah. the youth, and this is a forum, uh. a national policy you are discussing that is going to inform so many things for the youth, and they say, if we are not getting anything, then we will not attend. What will you do in such a scenario? That's where patriotism comes in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wow. So the macho. Yaku, uh, yaku Osham Korno. Yeah. You know, they have terminologies for, uh, for, 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 for that. I, 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 we deal with them, we know. They tell us all sorts of things. And at the end of the day, they, was, they, they, they complain we are not getting it. We are not, we are not. And yet, those opportunities are there. Because there is, right now, there is no way we can organize a forum and fail to have the youth represented. That's an illegal forum. Mm. Like we were discussing the other day about the National Council of Elders. These are elders. But we are telling now it is a requirement. We must have the youth on board. Because how will you handle the youth issues if they are not represented here? Wow. So the wow. elders cannot work. They must also get a youth who is an elder, a leader, then support these people. As, mm. And any time they are discussing youth issues... They have to consult this guy. Uh, and, and, and this is why I, I want you to participate with us. How can we promote inclusiveness in, the, in this country? Mm -hmm. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel is where you can find us. Why in the morning is the hashtag. How can we promote inclusiveness as youths? What do we do? What is the solution? Do you feel like there is inclusiveness in the country? It is a national value that you're trying to promote here. Or, 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 or again, yes. how effectively have you represented the youth in every mm -hmm. forum they have attended. If, for example, mm -hmm. one of them has been in this forum, were they, were they in a position to advocate for the issues of the youth mm -hmm. in whatever activity they were undertaking? There are many youths who campaign to be to they want to be leaders and when, when they go there they get it they fail to do one two three things that were expected of them. We need to change this narrative a lot. Earlier on, you we we we, we mentioned equity, mm -hmm. but there is another terminology that I want to bring in board. Yes, equality. 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 Um, how can we promote equality? And uh, as we talk about equality, I'm sure there is uh, another perspective that will also bring uh, come in when it comes to human rights. Mm -hmm. But let's let's start by dispensing first of all on the, the equality, equality part. Equality. Yeah, equality is just uh, treating every person with an equal measure. Yeah, that is equality. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we have, let me use the example of the opportunities that we have. Yeah. 
every youth has an equal chance to access affirmative action funds. An equal chance. Yeah. Whether you come from the rich or the poor, each one of them has an equal chance. But at the end of the day, you will get that some youth are accessing those funds, using them, then others are saying, us, I don't think we will get the fund. Mm. Equality demands that each one of us has an equal chance and requires that as we go out, you realize where there is equality, especially in accessing those opportunities which are there, and you go for those opportunities because if there is equality in that and some people are going and benefiting from those opportunities and others are failing to go, mm. where is the problem? In fact, that is the question I always ask the youth. Mm -hmm. Why are we not all of us accessing the funds that have been reserved for the youth? We only have some selected Youth, few who are taking advantage who, of it who are bold enough to step out of their comfort zones mm. and go for those funds mm. and yet there is an equal chance for all of us to benefit we have so many training opportunities which are being offered but you realize that not every youth is going for them and, and what is the challenge to, to that is coming up as uh, that is challenging e e equality why do we have such kind of, uh, it of is scenarios attitude here? attitude from the youth side. Somebody thinking that me, I don't think I can get it. And you condemn yourself. And you sit there and you fail to access the opportunity which has been reserved for you. So until we overcome that attitude and also realizing that we are in a new dispensation where every person has an equal chance to get and enjoy the opportunities and the benefits and privileges that are there in the society today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can be an enemy of yourself if you don't make use of those opportunities because each one of them and when you listen to the youth who have stepped out and done something mm. they will tell you it, it required a lot of courage and some of our people are not willing to take that extra step and be able to benefit from the opportunities, from the opportunities are there because are there. each one has an equal chance yeah. in terms yeah. of accessing those affirmative action funds the youth funds and 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 the other opportunities, the trainings, for example, like the uh, the presidential digital talent that mm. is there. Mm -hmm. Any person who applies, you will get a chance. But you discover not many people are making use of that opportunity. So that's where equality comes in. Mm -hmm. Are you a youth within this bracket? Please apply. But we we need to challenge this mindset that such things don't belong to us. That in your wengine, yeah, they will say, ah, you see it too. Because that's the terminology here. You to know our cheer, wengine. Then at the end of the day, you say we are not, we are not being included. We are mm. not being given our opportunities. And you see, these opportunities are there. If you are, no, you not. The, 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 when we be talking about sustainable development, you will see that mm. at one time, some of these opportunities will cease. When when, when you talk of equality, mm. how do we promote also equality between uh, both genders? Um, male and female, because many youths complain that uh, opportunities are, are 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 diverse for different genders, mm -hmm. and uh, at some point the female, the ladies are at uh, are disadvantaged. What do you say in regards to that? Now that that brings us to the value of protection of the marginalized, which is there down there. Mm -hmm where we we go out mm -hmm. deliberately to ensure that people who have been disadvantaged in the past yes are taken care of uh -huh. you realize that in our african society mm -hmm. uh, our ladies have always gone through some very serious challenges mm -hmm. and so when we woke up as a country we decided anytime we are doing something mm -hmm. if when we have ladies in the room or yes. women in the room yes we have to give them a special preference because these guys have been men have been at the table for many years Hmm. The ladies have not been at the table for some years, so we have to come up with deliberate ways to ensure that we also bring them up so that at um, some point we can be able to achieve what we call equality. Like, like some regions in this country, you realize that even in the KCPE, when a, an exam is done, a child from Nairobi is, no, is not treated at the same level with a child from the northeastern. Yes. A child in Nairobi who scored like uh, 320 marks, mm -hmm. comparing that to, 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 to the same child in northeastern, the, the northeastern child will mm -hmm. be told, please go to the national school. Mm -hmm. This other one will be told, go to an extra county school. Mm -hmm. Because this, this, this child has gone through some 
very serious struggles Challenges. even to achieve that. Yes, yes, now that yes. is where we have what we call protection Trib of the marginalized. Mm -hmm. How do we take care of people who have been disadvantaged in the past, the past. Wow. and they yes. have suffered challenges? That's mm -hmm. why sometimes these days when you go for an interview, uh, you are a man and you are seated with ladies and they have more qualification than yours, mm. you may rethink <laughs> your participation in that interview in because that, at the end of the day uh, this value of protection of the marginalized mm -hmm. will play uh, do you have persons do persons with disabilities also fall under this particular yes. uh, aspect and how do we how can we protect persons living with disabilities and and especially for us youth when mm. when we one of the ways in when we are forming the youth groups yeah as much as we are looking for people of particular nature we have also to ask ourselves are we bringing on board persons with disability. Yes. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. Because these are people who are there in the society. Mm -hmm. We have to ensure they are part and parcel of what is going on. That is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, again, mm -hmm. when youth, and I have seen them doing it so well, sometimes they visit this, these children in some homes who are like yeah, sweet children, yeah, they go yeah. and make donations to them. Mm -hmm. They go there and play with them the whole day, just trying to show them that they are also Kenyans and they are being appreciated in the society. So those donations and those services that we go out of our way to render to those groups that are in different homes, the value we are promoting there is protection of the marginalized. Wow. Yeah. And, and for example, when you go out to visit an el the elderly, or homes for the elderly, and you're doing the cleanups in mm -hmm. that home, mm -hmm. you're trying to show these people that they are also important to our society. And that is the work most of the youth are doing. Mm -hmm. During weekends, you find them in those homes doing the cleanups and supporting these people. So, so you two need to volunteer and volunteer, come out there. Yeah, it, it is about your contribution to making our society better. Without thinking that what am I going to get at the end of the day? No, that one will not take us anywhere. Yeah. Because this country belongs to us. Even tomorrow, we will need this. We, we can't wait for people to come in and start doing these things. But you are doing something. You are making your contribution. You are making our society a better place to be. Mm -hmm. And we can do it. And okay. they are doing it very well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, is there a way that we can also ensure that we don't have discrimination uh, across board? Because uh, um, it is something that many people fear. You know, will I be discriminated? Mm -hmm. will, I, will, will, will I be separated? Is there a way that uh, we can... We, we can reduce on the on, on the issue of discrimination that is that is in fact if if you are to ask me mm. if if there are people who have achieved non-discrimination for us in this country the yeah. youth mm -hmm. talk to the elder guys i will just give you an example one time i was talking to some people somewhere let not let me not mention them a youth we always organize what we call exchange forums mm. we take youth from one county they go and visit the youth in the other county they stay in their homes and you know the youth are very 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 outgoing mm. after staying together for two three weeks you will hear one of them said officer please come and attend my wedding the person when you took me there identified <laughs> a person and you yeah. see they are, they are willing to go out but now the problem comes in when they take that information to their parents Parents mm. will tell you, man, no. for many years we mm. have never gotten somebody from the other side. Yeah, yeah. You are going against our issue. But youth, very outgoing. Nowadays, fact, we are changing, we are changing are, the narrative. The narrative is changing. And the people who will change this, and they are doing it quite well, are the youth. One time we were in, in another county. A child had done class 8, mm. got 412 marks. He had been called to Maseno School from a particular county in central Kenya. But the mother could not allow that. And I said, I can't allow my child to cross over. Mm. When you talk to the boy, he's saying, this is the school I've been dreaming of. I want to go there. But now, what is the parent saying? But at the end of the day, it's the child who carried the day because the child went to Maseno school. So you, you are seeing, these are people who are willing. They will change the notion of thinking that we cannot live with these people. We cannot work with these people. Yeah, it yeah. is changing. As the senior citizens, in the past, we have done it in a wrong way. Mm -hmm. But because of the youth now, things are changing. So can youth be able to convince the senior citizens, our parents? Can the youth also be able to have a voice and promote non-discrimination? Among the parents, yes, it is uh, it is possible, but hard. <laughs> but it will take time. It, it may take time. Teaching an old dog some new tricks 
very difficult. It's not difficult. So it's, it, it is up to us within our circle it is to the, yes. change it yes. so that we influence the generations to come. You know, when you bring those people from the other environment and they start looking at them, they discover Kumbi, they are also human beings like us. Mm -hmm. They have no chair. Those, those stereotypes that we used to have about them, they are not there. They will begin to join us as we move forward as the youth. Social media has been a very important factor when it comes to promoting non-discrimination. Non yes. Um, how can we take advantage of it? Uh, it, is, it, is, it is about the, the, the narrative, the messages we send out about other people. Mm -hmm. Social media can be good. It can also be bad because of the narrative that we are sending out. Mm -hmm. if, if, if I can say something and I'm coming from this community and what I say is associated with the community, now that is where we go wrong. Uh, but, but if we can just take out balanced information and narrative that has nothing to do with some ethnic connotation or something, we will make it. We will, we will succeed at the end of the mm -hmm, day. Mm -hmm. But sometimes social media, it, 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 every day it has its own issues. Today mm. they are doing well. Tomorrow, Tomorrow you find them also bringing in some other issues which mm -hmm. are not very yeah, good yeah, 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 in yeah. terms of promoting uh, the values that we are talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you know, in a way, I, I love the story you've given here. Mm -hmm. um, it is possible for somebody to uh, get associated with another community. Yes. And uh, it has been seen w widely, especially on social media, where somebody uh, gets in touch with, a, with another person and they talk quite well. Yes. Uh, I, although there are few stories that have come across, mm. <laughs> let me, uh, not, of, not, not that, there are a few stories where people have met on social media and it was successful <laughs> <laughs> from different walks of life. Yes. But non-discrimination, was there that that we can say those are success stories especially mm. on social media where you're meeting the person and you feel this is the right person and you engage and you move to the next level good that's good <laughs> i want us to talk of 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 uh, uh governance and good uh, governance and when what when it comes to good governance it this has been an issue for a long time yes good governance how can we promote it uh first of all good governance is just having systems and structures through which the exercise of power can be controlled or held to account mm -hmm. every human being given a position if you don't have some checks and balances mm -hmm. you'll have issues exactly if, even at the person level in fact internally as a person one of the good governance things that you need to have is self-control because there are times you, you want to do something, but you, you discover you're almost going overboard. So you, there's, a, there's a limit you can go. That is self-control. Yeah. And especially, let me come to the youth, because we are speaking to the youth. Yes, yes, When, yes. when you have, how, how do you ensure that you promote this value as an individual? As an Number individual. one mm -hmm. is having mentors. People who can check you and size you and correct you and tell you today you did well, mm -hmm. but... Uh, what, what I didn't like what you talked about yesterday. It was mm -hmm. not right. Mm -hmm. So they keep shaping us and controlling us and and looking at what we ha we are doing. They're That's the, a good governance. They thing. keep you, they can keep you accountable. Yes, they they are the ones who uh, to make us to toe the line. Yes, when we go off. Yes, and uh, is is there a way that uh, we can as youths we can be able to uh, ensure that it is. It is spread it across board mm -hmm. because there are some who you know knowledge is uh, 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 not, not common for mm -hmm. many. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some who know one particular as attribute of virtue. Mm -hmm. There are those who do not know the same mm -hmm. attribute of virtue mm -hmm. in regards to good governance. How can we spread that message there? It is. It is. Um one of the ways and one of the things, uh, the, the, the programs I see helping youth so much mm. in achieving good governance, mm. it is the issue of youth exchange programs. Where mm -hmm. you go out and you're sharing what you do mm -hmm. and people l listen to your story, yeah. they critique your story, then improve on the story. Then you also listen to the other people, share their story, how they have been doing, you critique, and at the end of the day, you are refining one another among the youth themselves. And bringing sensitization yes, and just, awareness. Yes, yes. Just engaging at that level. 
Because wow. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the know-it-all attitude, you are doing something and you believe you know it all, my friend, it will lead you to some other a place you may not like. You know, the interesting thing is, you may think you, you, you've you gone through something mm. uh, until you hear someone else's story, mm. and, and then you, you'll have to take a back you learn, and say, yes, you learn. Ah, uh, uh, like you're people, learning a new thing. People there. who have never gone out, they will always praise their mothers. My mom is the <laughs> best cook. The day you will step out, you will discover, Kumbo, we have some other good cooks in the neighborhood. And you bring those stories and give them to your mom so that you improve. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, what comes out is better. So you still need to participate, especially in these exchange programs. Very important. Even if, even if you are doing something, find out if there is another person doing the same thing. Can you learn from that person? Mm -hmm. Because there may be some things you need to discard to improve on what you're doing. And it comes out through those exchange forums and even having discussions with some other people. You go to some places where youth are having open discussions over something mm -hmm. and sharing information, sensitizing one another, and they are learning from each other. How do we overcome this issue going forward? That's good governance. And what are the, some of the challenges that uh, or issues that hinder good governance, especially among the youth? Among the youth. One of them is a know-it-all attitude, where you're not willing to listen. You have, we have seen youth even at home who cannot listen to their parents. Hmm. When they have decided on something, until they land in a problem, that is the time they will come back and say, Kumbe, what you were doing was wrong. That is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is closing up, not being willing to share what you're doing. Sometimes you feel, this is mine, I need to keep it to myself. Then uh, you will be, if, if you only shared with your neighbor and you work together to improve on that, so that fear of, of, of sharing what mm -hmm. I know, mm -hmm. with the create, I want to create something, but I'm not willing to share it out. Yeah. You are denying uh, the society an opportunity to improve, to check, and imp improve on the program that you're working on. You, you know, there are many who always feared... What you're saying is true. Mm. They fear sharing because they feel like if I share my idea, someone may steal it. If I talk about what I want to do, about me, my, my plans to execute a, a, X, Y, or Z, someone may steal my plans and I may end up not even having the ability to, 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 to do it. To implement it. Yes. You're, you're right. There are those fears, but we have institutions in our country uh -huh. which are... Uh, uh, there to ensure that our ideas are protected, yes. that nobody steals that idea. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of power in sharing. You may not share with everybody. There are some trusted friends who are also in the same field that will add value to what you're doing. That's wow. what we are talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and that's yeah. why you go to every place, youth who are working in this field have an association of some kind. Mm -hmm. where you meet together and each one of you is sharing what they are planning. So you let's join these associations, Forming these groups, those associations. these cohorts. Yes, they are important in improving what we are working on. And that is an aspect of good governance. Where oh, now oh. They, you have a, a place where people can check on what you're doing, improve on it. And at the end of the day, what comes out is a good thing for our country. You know, um, as, as you're talking ab about that, mm -hmm. because you say that there are institutions that are, uh, uh, that are, that are there, that exist, mm -hmm. that can help protect the youth. Yes. And uh, youth always fear sharing because they are questioning one thing integrity, mm -hmm. the societal integrity, or the individual integrity, mm -hmm. you know, or, or it, and the integrity can, also, can, can even be personal. Yes. Because you, you're wondering, if I go for this, will there be integrity through this exchange that you're going to have? How can this promote integrity? Uh, Kwanza, let, let, let's say what integrity is all about. Exactly. Integrity is about doing good consistently, mm -hmm. irrespective of the circumstances. Mm -hmm. And not very many people pass that test. Because that means what you say agrees with what you do, what you do. And, and also what you, you believe in. Mm. Many people, you, when you follow them around, what they say is totally different from, from what, what they, they do. do. 
and what and, and what they believe in. Yeah, what they believe in. They can even say things to please your ears. Yes, but that's not what they believe in. That, that's why you will get some people what they they say during the day. Find them at night the things they are doing. <laughs> they contradict. Go against the things they told you during the day. Especially during the weekend. Huh? Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. But but, <laughs> but 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 one of the ways in which uh, I, I, youth can live integrity. Look yeah. at look at we are, we are in the electioneering period, for example. Yeah. And in, a, a youth of integrity will not allow he or himself or herself to be influenced by a politician because you have been given something, so you lose your head and you start doing things that you have never dreamed of. Hmm. That means you are a person of integrity. Yeah. You, you are consistently doing what is right. You are not, because what the society is full of influences, for example, good or bad. But if after going through all those things, you consistently do what is right, mm -hmm. your integrity is okay. Yeah. Number yeah. two, for example, there is a lot of peer pressure. Right now, when you want to do something good as a youth, you may have very few people celebrating you. Mm. It is only your conscience which will clap for you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the people, because you never did as bad as they did, mm -hmm. they will condemn you. They will not. But a person of integrity will not allow peer pressure that is taking you to a wrong direction to influence your life. You will stand mm -hmm. your ground. If you know you are supposed to be doing something, you will stand by it. Yeah, That's yeah. what we are talking about. Yeah. So those, those influences that we have in the society, those challenges that youth are going through should not make them lose the values that they gain from their parents. Mm -hmm. Because like you, a, a parent has sent, you have seen especially in the city where a child has been sent to a college and parents are paid fees. But at the end of the day, what they do in those colleges is totally different, different from what they were sent by their yeah, parents to do. Yeah, yeah. That is integrity. And uh, when it comes to sharing information, mm -hmm. you know, how can we also promote integrity as we share information? Because earlier on you said youth fear sharing. Yes, yes. This one, you cannot, you have, first of all, to scan your environment. Mm. There, there are people who can be in your environment, uh -huh. but not all of them can come into the internal space and be your friends. Yeah. So there are people you have to look at and see, can these people, when I share my idea with them, can they keep it? Can mm. they safeguard it? Yeah. Can they ensure that it is protected? Mm. That's what we are talking about. Yes. Uh -huh. So it, it is about identifying people that you can trust, mm -hmm. those that you have worked with for some time, then you have agreed among us yourselves yeah. that this is what we will be doing in our association mm -hmm. and we will not be able to let what we have shared here yeah. go to the other people. And, and, and you know, um, through that you are you recognize the, those that are belong in different circles, yes. the inner circle and mm -hmm. the outer, uh, uh, outer one. Yes. You know what to share at what level. Now, as an individual, mm -hmm. as a youth, mm -hmm. there are those things that promote integrity. What are some of the things that we can do as individuals now to promote integrity? One of them is self-discipline. Not everything that comes before you, you must see everything that comes before you. Yeah. Self-discipline is very important. Mm -hmm. Then number two is, is the company that you keep. If, if you are keeping people who are in discipline, who have no integrity, then at the end of the day, you it also join you. them. Yeah. yeah, they will influence you. There is, there is somebody who said that uh, if if you see nine bad people, mm. you are the tenth one. Yes. If you walk amongst nine wise people, mm. you are the tenth one. Yes. So your that's, company. That, that is why your company is very important. You cannot say you have integrity, but you have chosen to walk among people who are not integral. Who, who have no integrity. At the end of the day, you are just one of them. So then, 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 then number three is having uh, very strong values mm. that you believe in as a person mm -hmm. and, and making up your mind to leave those values irrespective of what happens. Now, um, what, what you're saying has, re has reminded me of yet one particular aspect of transparency. Mm -hmm. Transparency. Yes. You know, the, the way you walk shows.
shows how transparent you are, mm. the way the things you do, mm. you know, it, it, it has an effect. Mm -hmm. how, how can youths be transparent? Uh, let's begin by understanding what transparency is all about. Mm -hmm. Transparency is just about sharing information. Yeah. Acting without hidden agendas. Everything is laid bare. Like if we are engaging with you, everything is here. Mm -hmm. We don't have other cards at the under the, the table, yeah. which can come out. That is openly sharing information mm -hmm. and acting in an open manner. Without having strings attached. No. That is where transparency is all about. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it is about you as an individual. Let's begin at the individual level. Letting other people understand who you are. You know, there are people you can work with for years and you have never understood what kind of animals they are. <laughs> so opening up yourself to letting other uh, people know what you stand for as uh -huh. an individual and know the things that you can do. They have enough information about you. Uh -huh. They know that if they tell you this, you will not like it. Yeah. You are transparent, man. Yeah, I, I, you see, that's also one thing that affects uh, youth, especially in the job market. Yes. Lack of transparency can even make you lose a job. Yes. And you, you look at their CVs they have given. Mm -hmm. The things they have stated there about them, that is now where integrity also comes in, mm -hmm. in transparency. Yeah. They, they are, they, they, those things are not part of the people you are seeing before you. Mm -hmm. They say they do this when you give them a chance. What comes out at the end of the day is totally different. So the information you shared is not a true reflection of the person that you are. Wow. Now that is, that is one way of how we can promote integrity at the individual level. Mm -hmm. Then now when we come to the society, mm -hmm. how can we promote integrity? So, as transparency. You? Yeah, tra yeah, transparency. Yes. Number one, it is by... Because youth, you have to know what your government is doing. Mm. Just accessing the websites of government institutions and getting information on what they are doing mm -hmm. and disseminating that information, the value you are promoting is transparency. Mm -hmm. Then number two, youth are very good on social media platforms. If we can use those social media platforms to disseminate correct and relevant information mm -hmm. so that we empower our people, with the information on what is going on in the society today. And, and true information. Very important. True and relevant. Because some information may not be relevant to me mm -hmm. at this level. <laughs> you realize these people mm -hmm. need this information. Mm -hmm. You have access to the source of that information. Get that information and give them. Relevant, correct. The value you are promoting is what mm -hmm. we call transparency. Mm -hmm. then, yeah. then also, the youth are very good, and I want to commend them on this. They are using creative arts, for example. They want to pass some information. You will see them coming up with poems. You will see them coming up with skits and other, other, any, uh, any kind of drama yeah. and acting. The purpose of those poems, drama, and skits is just to pass information. Yeah. That is still transparency. Wow, you want wow, our people wow. to get, because we get this information at different levels. Mm -hmm. Others can come with a pictorial representation of mm -hmm. some information. How can youths be held accountable, promoting accountability? <laughs> Very important. That's, that's a, and let, let me explain that let, by using a biblical example, if you allow me. Yes, yes, yes. In the, in the, in the Bible, uh, Jesus talks about three people. That were given talents. The yeah. first one was given one talent. Mm -hmm. Another one was given two. The last one was given five. Mm. Then the day to account for those talents came. The one that was given one said, e, I didn't use it. I went and buried it. It has not given us anything. The one that was given two went and worked on it. And it generated two more. The one that was given five went and made use of the five and it generated five more. Mm. What I'm saying is that every youth has a talent. Hakuna mm. mutu hana kitu. Yeah. But now, explaining how you have used that talent that you have to, imp that you have to mm -hmm. improve on your life, mm -hmm. then help the people you live with overcome the challenges, mm -hmm. that is where there's an issue. All of us have bit, things yeah, in our hands. Every we have talents. Youth has talents. And not just talent, mm -hmm. every youth has an opportunity. Like, mm -hmm. for example, just a, if you have a day, 
kama leo from morning to evening mm. at the end of the day when you ask how did you spend can you account on how you spend your, your day? day explain to us that is still accountability being answerable explaining how you spend your time kuna watu people have gotten money mm. but at the end of the day they can't explain how they spend yeah. the money and that's where accountability comes in. Yes, youths are afraid or don't want to be held accountable. That is where the issue Apple is. Wana, wana sana yes. sana. Give us whatever you want to give us, but don't ask us how we got it. How we used it. Hmm. If you have youth, for example, your person will impart your measure. So that is the question they don't want. <laughs> but uh, in terms of getting those what they want. Mm. Mm. I want us to finish this conversation with the sustainable uh, development. Yes. And uh, in a nutshell, what are you talking about here when you say sustainable development? Sustainable development is just a pattern of resource use mm. that meets the present and the future needs of the people we are going to have. Yeah. And simply put as a youth, it is the way a youth is packaging himself or mm -hmm. herself yeah. to be relevant today and even in the days to come. The opportunities that you have been given, how are you using them just to make sure that your life tomorrow is also good? Like mm -hmm. if you have a tree, if you want that tree to continue bearing more fruit, you yeah. have to water the tree. Mm -hmm. So that tomorrow you continue enjoying. Getting how, 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 how can we promote sustainable development as, as, as youths in the country? Number one, Make use of the available re opportunities. Mm -hmm. If it is accessing funds and investing those funds and in, in projects that have a long-term effect, please go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Number two, engage in innovation and creativity because innovation is the future. Yeah. And improve on that innovation so that it be, as a society we, we continue enjoying that. Mm -hmm. Number three, make use of the training and educational opportunities that are there because that is the way you package yourself for mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Any training that comes, improve, be a person who is willing to learn and learn and learn. You wow. are preparing yourself for tomorrow. That's sustainable development. Thank you so much. Thank I you. believe that those who are watching today, we've, we've had uh, an impactful morning. Uh, that is Bonabiketi Ambrose who is uh, assistant director at the Directorate of National Cohesion and Values. I uh, thank you for coming. Uh, for coming. Thank you it's for a pleasure. hosting me too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we should have this conversation more. And uh, the next time we talk, up, we should talk about now other issues that pertain to uh, 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 you know national values like governance. Yes. You know uh, yes. how the government is getting involved in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to thank you for finding time, and I want to thank you from wherever you're watching us from uh, being for me part of this conversation. We say we are grateful. We are taking. A short break could we'll be back in a bit but keep it why in the morning my name is ram aguko it is a pleasure keep engaging with us the hashtag is why in the morning this is why 254